Hello everyone and welcome back to Algebra 1. Today we are going to continue with concept number 5 and today we actually are still going over the same exact thing just we have a different scenario set up. Okay, have my example already written on the board and we're still solving rational expressions. So we would start this off like we would um, ye yesterday when we saw this concept for the first time. So we're going to start off by finding the LCD, okay, which in this case would be x squared. So our lowest common denominator equal to x squared. Okay, now what do we do with that? We multiply each part as such, like that. Go ahead and use the distributive property, okay? Which wrong way, wrong side, wrong side, like so. So this cancels out of one and one. Okay. Now this cancels out, and we have an x left and a one. Now, very quickly, x squared means that there are two x's. Okay. Um, why did I leave it as x and not just the one? because I don't know the value of x, but I do know that there is one x left because one x can cancel out one x, but this counts for two x's. So I have to leave one x up here and this will just be a one, okay? So this is what we're left with. Let's see how it would look like. x squared times one is x squared minus x times 1 is x. Now 1 times 12 over 1 is 12. Hmm. That's what we're left with. But remember how we had to solve for x? What would we do in this case? We're going to do exactly that. We're going to solve for x. Now, I'm going to have this equal 0. And then what will it look like? Now it's going to be a negative 12 because I have to get it from this side to this side and it's positive here and I need it to equal 0. So I'm going to subtract it to both sides. And I'm going to be left with this. What does that look like? Trinomial. Right? Let's go ahead and factor it out. Let's take our 12. Start off by factoring out 12, 1 times 12, 2 times 3, no, not 2 times 3, 2 times 6, 3 times 4, and that's about it. That's all our factors. So we have to get our factors that when multiplied together gives us a negative 12. That off the bat tells me that one of my numbers is negative and one of my numbers is positive. Okay, now that I know that, I know my negative 1x, I need a negative 1x left over. So since that negative, I'm sorry, since that 1 is a negative, I know that my largest number is going to have to be negative. So I know that 3 minus 4 gives me a negative 1. So those are my two numbers I'm going to be using. So when factoring this out, the answer would be x plus 3 and x minus 4 is equal to 0. Okay, now this is going to give me two possible values for x. How do I know that? I'm going to text, I'm going to take each one of these and find the possible value for x by having them equal 0. So first I'm going to take my x plus 3. And I need to get my x alone. 
positive 3, so I need to subtract 3 to both sides. x is equal to negative 3. This is one of my possible values for x. Now, I'm going to take my x minus 4, follow the same exact steps I just followed, get x alone, since it is a negative 4, I'm going to add it to both sides. x can also be equal to the positive 4. This is my second possible value for x. You see how that kind of just de-escalated itself very quickly following it step by step? We started off the rational expression, which might seem a little difficult, but when you know what you're doing and writing it out step by step, it really helps and it's actually easier than it seems. Okay? Now, we touched base on some things that we saw yesterday, but we also touched base on something that we saw last six weeks, which is factoring out a polynomial. See how each concept and each six weeks has something to teach us that will help us in our next step? That's why it's important to pay attention. Now, let's move on. Now for today, I'm going to do things a little bit differently. And I haven't done this before. But instead of having you guys go ahead and do an example just like the one I did, I want you guys to go ahead and send me a picture of your notes. It is very important to me to see that you guys are actually taking notes. So for any chance you didn't, go ahead and go back in the video and do it now. Make sure you write out each step as I did. If you have any questions on anything, please don't hesitate and ask. I'm here to help. Um, I hope to be hearing back from everyone very, very soon. And I um, hope you all have a very wonderful rest of your day.